show videos and time lapses of my do-it-yourself projects. Today we're going to do some unboxing and sorting of the seeds. We're going to start my chili peppers and then we're going to go out to the greenhouse and trim the grapevine. At the end of this video I'm going to show some pictures from when we built our greenhouse a couple of years ago. Here I'm just unboxing some chilies and this is Jalapeno Giant, Pablano, Sweet Banana, I think that's uh, Biker Bill's Jalapeno, and then there is a tomato, I think that's the Big Rainbow, and then we have Strongbow Yellow, and I think that's green zebra and that's all tomatoes. Another tomato, golden bumblebee. And then we have some pumpkin seeds. And then there was a bonus chili seed. I think it was a poblano. Some more unpacking, more greens. We have what I think is called the broad bean in English. It's bonbona in Swedish. And then some other peas and uh, beans. I'm just gonna put them in my peas and beans container. That's quite full. <laughs> this is soccer mice or sweet corn. I'm growing a lot of that. And then we have some parsnip, carrots, a lot of carrots, beets, some more peas, spinach, Kale, cauliflower and radish. Now let's sort some chili pepper seeds. Just gonna take out the ones I'm gonna put in the soil today. It's gonna be Biker Bill's Jalapeno. And here we have Sweet Banana, Pablano, Jalapeno Giant, Favorite, Purple UFO, just gonna look here if there's something I'm gonna use. No, not today. And then we also have a hot lemon. I'm using seed starting mix and some vermiculite. Just giving the soil some moist. Starting with my favorite from last year, Purple UFO. This is my own seeds from last year's harvest. Putting some holes in the soil. I'm putting two seeds in every hole in case uh, one of them doesn't germinate. If they both germinate I just uh, cut one off later or I can separate them and make more plants. Putting a date on the label. It's the 4th of January. And then I'm just gonna continue on with 
I think that's the jalapeno giant. And then it's just the same with the other ones, with the poblano, the sweet banana, biker bills jalapeno and the hot lemon. Just finishing it off by putting some soil on top. And then I'm gonna put the plastic cover on just to keep it moist and warm. And then this tray is going into the bathroom where it's warmest in the house and it's also heated on the floors. I have had this uh, grapevine for about two years. Last winter I read up on how to trim a vine and had a plan when I trimmed it. But this year I didn't have a plan so I'm just improvising here. As promised, I'm gonna show some pictures from when we built our greenhouse. This was an old wash house. Unfortunately, the old wood stove was broken and there were some cracks in the foundation, so we weren't able to save it. The greenhouse we chose it came from Villa Garden. spot the cats you should see two in this picture and then we had a company come and tear down the last pieces and the heavy pieces and they also built us a solid foundation for the new greenhouse starting to lay down some bricks here my husband is digging a ditch to put down the electrics we hired a bricklayer to do this for us because it had to be exact or the greenhouse wouldn't fit on top of the, the bricks the greenhouse came with instructions which was okay to follow uh, we had some troubles that we had to solve on the way but I think we did a good job and it 
it's still standing here three years later. We finished the build quite late in season, so we didn't have time to grow much in it that season. But I did have time to drink some wine, we had a couple of dinners, and just enjoy it in other ways. And we'll come to the end of this video. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for bearing with me on this uh, my first voiceover attempt. I don't know if I'm gonna continue with this voiceover thing, but maybe it's gonna be a mix in the future. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe to see more of my videos in the future.